Okay, so let's talk about conjugates. So, z is a complex number, a equals a plus b i, so, and z's conjugate is simply a minus b i. So, we basically change the sign of the imaginary number. Now, if I multiply a complex with its conjugate, that's a plus b i times a minus b i, I get a squared minus b squared i squared, and i squared is minus 1, so I get a squared plus b squared. So this means that when you multiply a complex number with its conjugate, you end up getting a real number. So now let's divide um, <clears throat> the example that we did in the previous question, in the, sorry, in the previous video, that was 2 plus iota upon 3 minus 4 iota. So I need to make the denominator a real number. So if I multiply and divide by the conjugate of the denominator, that's 3 plus 4 i, this is what I'll get. So in the numerator, this will be 2 plus iota into 3 plus 4 iota. In the numerator, this will be 3 squared minus 4 squared i squared. i squared is minus 1. So I get 3 squared plus 4 squared. If I expand the numerator, I'll get 2 plus 11 iota. In the denominator, I get 25. And then finally, the real number will be 2 upon 25. The imaginary part will be 11i upon 25. So this is how you solve, uh, you divide complex numbers using conjugates. You basically multiply, divide with a conjugate of the denominator to make the denominator a real number. And once it's a real number, it's simply expanding the numerator and getting your answer.